Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, Devin here, and now today I will explain you how to configure router uh, with console cable, telnet, and SSH. Okay. So in real life, uh, you can configure router with three of those that I mentioned. But in simulation, you can just <coughs> click the router and then click the CLI and boom, you can config the router. You can configure the router. <coughs> simple as that. But in real life, it's not it's not that simple. In real life, you must have a cable name, console cable. Okay. It's uh it's a blue color cable in Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, you can connect by choose the console cable and then in laptop what in laptop zero and in laptop uh, you connect to rs232 and then in the router you connect to the to the port and to the console port okay. and then click the laptop <coughs> <coughs> and then click terminal and then ignore all of this and click ok and boom we can configure the router from the laptop. It's that simple, okay? Uh, using console cable. But there are another way to configure uh, a router with telnet and SSH, okay? If you don't have a console cable or you are far away from your router, you can configure your router using telnet or SSH. So the first one, what is Telnet and SSH? Okay, Telnet and SSH is a protocol that can, uh, if you use that, you can remote, uh, you can remote and configure your router or your switch uh, or your many devices uh, from uh, from a distance. Okay, for example, you want to configure your router uh, in the office, but you are at home. You can use Telnet or SSH as long. Uh, as you have the IP address of the router or and connect to the router <coughs> okay let's configure that okay. but before before that we erase the console cable and then connect the cable connect laptop and router and the router with copper crossover Okay, you can see the cable is the line. Connect it into pass Ethernet zero, and then in here pass Ethernet zero one. <coughs> <coughs> As you can see, the symbol is red. Okay, it means the port of the router is turned off. Okay, but it is it's the default. Okay. Let's just go into the router. In here we type enable configure terminal and then uh, we have to change the host uh, change the name of the router because it's the procedure if you want to uh, do SSH okay how to do that type host name uh, router for R4 and then after that, uh, we want to go to the uh, fasternet 004, okay? And it is telnet, okay? So, uh, select the interface you want to turn on, like this, interface fa 0 And then, you, we must add an IP, address, an IP address first, okay? Like, IP address. 192.168.10.1 and then don't forget the subnet mask <coughs> <coughs> 255 three times and zero and then how to turn on the interface or the port we must type no shutdown and then boom uh, the symbol is now green and then we must config the telnet command <coughs> See? Okay. to to 
configure a telnet, we must make a username uh, like admin, username admin, and the password. For like example, the password is one two three, and then uh, type line vty zero four. Okay, what is this mean? This mean that uh, uh, the the client able to configure or access the router is just five. Okay, starting from zero, zero one two three four. Okay, just five. And then you must uh, type login local, and then enable password. For example, four five six. Okay, so what is the difference uh, between this password and this password? Okay, the difference is the password one two three is for the user admin, and then the enable password four five six is for the router. So we can lock the router with this command, enable password, blah blah blah. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna simulate the laptop with wireless. Okay, this we have access point. We configure it first, config, uh, click port one, and then the SSID we change to free Wi Fi. <coughs> And then the authentication we we <coughs> we change to VPA to SK, and then uh, the password is uh, TKJ mantap, and then uh, close it, and then click laptop, click desktop, and then oh sorry, I almost forgot. We change the change the uh, modules in here. Okay. The first one, we must turn off turn off the laptop, turn off the laptop, and then drag this the VPC T hundred N into here. Oh, sorry. Boom, and then turn on again. Click desktop, PC wireless, and then we connect. Wait until the SSID is uh, boom, and then we click this, click connect, and then uh, type the password that we set in the access point. Take like a and then we connect, and then yes, there are some notifications. You have successfully connected to the access point. And then you ma you can see in here, yeah, there are uh, connection in here. And then go to the desktop again. And then uh, type telnet SSH client. Uh, we telnet first, okay. And we type in here the IP address of the <coughs> <coughs> of the router. Oh, sorry. Before that, you must. Set the IP configuration. One nine two was eight ten one. Eh, sorry. One nine two was eight ten two. And then the, and then we go to the telnet client. We type the IP address of the router. Connect. And then, yes, you must uh, fill the username for first. Then uh, we set the username in router is admin. admin, and the password is one two three. Boom! You can configure. We type enable. Okay. So this is the password for the router. We type four six five four five six, <coughs> and boom! You can <coughs> you can uh, <coughs> you can configure the router. From your laptop, okay. that is telnet. Okay. For the SSH, we configure letter. Okay. Hey guys, sorry for the nice change because outside is raining. I going inside. Okay, I move to the classroom. Okay.
Oke, okay, so back on the topology we now gonna make SSH because eh, because uh, in outside we already make made a uh, telnet. Oke. Okay? Okay, so what is the difference between telnet and SSH? Okay? SSH is more uh, secure and more encrypted than telnet. Oke. Okay? So without any further ado, now we gonna configure the configure the uh, SSH. Oke. Okay? Now, like visual, enable, configure. Okay. <coughs> Don't forget the password for privacy. Okay. After that, configure terminal. <coughs> In Cisco, you can, I mean, apa? You can uh, simplify the the configuration so that it's good. And then let us make the SSH SSH client. Okay. Okay. SMS the Internet, we make the username uh, like admin one, and then the password is a b a b c, and then we make an IP domain name, IP domain name, uh, example idn dot id. Oh, sorry, typo. In the ID, so that we type this crypto generate eh, crypto key generate RS, RSA. So that if you see this, just click enter <coughs> and then uh, type 9 y 04 and then type transport input sh that login local and then done okay we don't type enable password because we already set a password <coughs> <coughs> okay after that don't forget to add an ip address Don't forget to turn on and add IP address in uh, interface FA01. Okay, interface FA01. IP address 192.168.20.1. No shut down. And then go to laptop, change the module. But turn off the PC first. Change to WPC 300N. Eh, sorry, no need because uh, there are no <coughs> there are no wireless wireless device here. So what is it? Uh, oh, sorry. <coughs> Damn. Okay. Oh, this is. forget to plug in the cable again and then go to the desktop configure the IP 192 <coughs> and then go to the telnet SSH client type the hostname SSH 21 or the IP address of the interface FI, FA01 and then the username we make admin one and that connect and then the password of admin one is abc okay boom you can configure the router using ssh so that is the way you configure the router okay you can configure the router by three way by console cable telnet and ssh okay that's all for me thank you for listening Hope you can take the goodness and throw the badness. Bisa saya wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.